Hello and welcome to another video by me, Bullet Bullets. Uh, first of all, I'm hoping you can hear my voice more on this, so people have been complaining that my voice and the audio has been too low. I've tried to fix that, hope this works, please tell me if it does or doesn't. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the browser update, Safari 4.0 Beta, or Beta, depending on how you pronounce it. So, when you very first go into this page, when you've only very first downloaded it and you've gone into it for the first time, you're presented with the animation clip of Safari, and then you'll be presented with the um, the most visited page. However, I won't be because I've been into this before. So, when you got when you then close the browser back into it again, then you'll be then standardly presented with this page, which is the Apple Start page. You can then change that if you want via preferences, as you can through all browsers. In this page, you can then see straight away some of the updates depending if you've used Safari or not. You've got this part here, which is the report bugs to Apple. That is obviously for the best because it's beta. So because of that, they need a report bug. You've got the two main stages here still. Now the tabs system is slightly different as well. If you uh, first of all, if you want to add a tab, you have to click onto that now. And if you want to move a tab, instead of just click on anywhere on the tab, you want them moving it along to side to side. You have to then hold and click this. So the show top sites you can never get to clicking here or by when opening a new tab will automatically bring to it I'll open up a new tab once it open you'll be presented with this now it will show if you've never been onto any of the websites before you will automatically be brought with some standard ones however I have been on some so it will be slightly different for you. Now you have the main, you have the main uh, standard ones, and then if you highlight on any of them, it'll also tell you the name of the page and the URL of the page. So if you then don't like how that is laid out, you click on Edit, and you are then able to cross out of any of them if you don't want them to be there, like this. You just click on any of the random ones, and well not any random ones, just ones you don't want there anymore. And the ones that would then fill in is either ones you have been on before, or ones that they would recommend. So once you then, oh sorry, you can also change the how many is on that page. So instead of having this size ones, maybe you want more on there, so you'd have a lot more of them. Or maybe you only want a couple of them on there, so you click onto large, and you'd only have six of them. Once you're then happy with your choice, you then click done, and then go back to how it was. So, also, if you click onto one of the pages, it will zoom into that page that you've highlighted. And if you're then done with that page, and you want to go back into your most visited, you can click by that, or by the back button, depending where you were and it will then zoom out back into the place where it was. Now, for the history. When you have the history, they use CoverFlow again, which they use superbly. You might have seen it in some of the other things that Apple have used. So in this, you scroll along, and they use CoverFlow to show you your history. And then again, if you want to go back to that one page again, you click to a certain page you want to go to and click it. You also have the same with history and your bookmarks bar. But getting out of that again is you simply clicking on to hide all bookmarks. or going out of that tab. So if you then want to change all the preferences, you you go into this here the tool and then preferences. Which will then bring you with this, with which you can then choose your default web browser your search engine, your home page and this is where you can then change the home page if you would like it to be this page or the standard page of the um, 
build the layouts. You then got all your standard tabs and things like that. So this has been my review on Safari 4.0 beta. If you like my video, please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you for watching my video.